Shalom brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Today I will share the message I received this week. Two days ago in the dream I saw a short dream that I feel related to the rapture and it has the meaning. It's like a story in the dream but when I woke up only a short part of this dream that I can remember. In this dream it's like I was in the church where I used to go before this pandemic. It's like I was standing in front of the church near the altar, but I was not part of the story in this dream. And then I saw one of the church members that I know doing many activities in the church. In this dream, I saw her wearing a beautiful white wedding dress. It's like her wedding day, but I didn't see the bridegroom. I only saw her, the bride. I saw her walking down from the altar where the pastor used to preach. Then she walked down the street or corridor of the banquet or guest seats. As she was walking through the corridor, suddenly I saw on the back of her wedding dress there was a red rose. And this bride looked back and tried to defend or catch so that the red rose didn't fall to the floor. In this dream, I felt that the red rose was very important and should not fall and she tried her best to catch or hold the the rose in her hand. Finally, she can catch the rose in her hand. That's all the part of the dream that I can remember. Now I will give a short interpretation of this dream. Please take it to the Lord in prayers, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters in Christ, the bride I saw in this dream symbolizes the church. It is the wedding day, but I didn't see the bridegroom in this dream. I just realized it when I ponder more about this dream just now. First, I thought maybe this dream is just a reminder from God that the rapture is near. But then I feel there is a deeper meaning in this dream. Brothers and sisters in Christ, Jesus is our bridegroom and we, the church, individually or corporately, are the bride of Christ. If Jesus is the bridegroom, he should be the leader of his church. But many churches nowadays don't put Jesus as their leader or their Lord. They push away Jesus from his church, like I saw this bride without a bridegroom, so it's like she is walking alone. The churches go their their own programs, events, activities that have nothing to do with saving souls. The main duty of the church is to make the true disciples of Jesus Christ. So pastors, ministers of the church, you don't just get people baptized at your church and telling them that they are saved. Then you let them live like whatever they want. You must teach them to obey God and keep God's commandments. It is your main duty. You don't just preach what people like to hear, but you must also preach about sins, repentance, holiness, and righteousness. In this dream, I saw a rose appear at the back of the bride. A rose represents Jesus. In the scripture, many times Jesus is described as a red rose. Let us read brothers and sisters from Solomon chapter 2, verse 1. I am the rose of Sharon and the lily of the valleys. Here are the words that I quote from the article from the internet. The rose is considered to be the most perfect of all flowers. You will notice that Jesus is symbolically referred to as the rose of Sharon. Jesus is totally perfect in his nature and personality. Women love flowers. They love the way they look and smell, especially roses. I feel God wants us to have full realization of how special His Son Jesus is to us, and He is using the rose flower to compare His Son with so we can truly appreciate the beauty and perfection of Jesus and the perfect love that He has for each and every one of us. Bottom line, Jesus is perfect love just as the rose is the most perfect of all flowers in its look, beauty, and smell. Back to the interpretation, it is also a message when I saw this rose appear at the back of the bride. It symbolizes the church that doesn't submit to Jesus' teaching, but they put Jesus at the back. So their preaching is not about Jesus' teaching, but it is all their own agendas. Whatever it is, maybe it is money, fame, popularity, worldly things, and so on. In this dream, I saw the bride try to defend or catch the red rose so that the red rose didn't fall to the floor. They only used the name of Jesus to gain the followers of Jesus and deceive them. 
They only preach good, comforting, nice message, and take the Bible verses that agree with their teaching, and throw away all the verses about repentance from sins, obedience, commandments of God, and the requirements that we must do as the followers of Jesus. As the result, all the foolish brides who listen to this kind of church teaching will surely brought to the broad way to hell. That's all the message, brothers and sisters. I hope this could encourage us and help us to prepare for the coming of Jesus. If you have any comments about this message, can share it in the comment section below. And if you need prayer, you can send email to me or share it in the comment section. May Jesus, our Lord and Savior, bless us all. Love you all, brothers and sisters, and thank you for listening. Bye.